In today's video, I'm going to show you how I utilize Helium 10, which is an Amazon specific software tool to scale my Amazon business. We're going to talk about product research, listing optimization. We're also going to talk about how to get more reviews. And we'll also discuss some hidden strategies that will bring you massive sales. I personally love Helium 10 because it helps so easily to automate the systems of FBA business. Basically all the hard work and spending days doing product research, everything that you have to do, it'll do it with just a click of a few buttons. Let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Aurin and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in learning more about online businesses, mindset and all things entrepreneurship, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Your support means the world to me. I have a link to sign up with Helium 10 for you guys in my description box below. You can use that if you need. So I'm logged into my Helium 10 dashboard and under tools, we have all of these options. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is product research. Of course, product research is the first step for you to have a successful Amazon business. Having a winning product is the first step towards your Amazon success. And if you don't have a winning product, guess what? It's never going to work. Let's go ahead and start with Black Box. So this is basically a search engine. We filter out a lot of unnecessary products and only find what we need. And you can also select the marketplace. This one's right now in the simple mode. We're going to change it to the advanced mode. So if you just click here, it'll change it to the advanced. And so here it's pretty much the same as the simple, but it has just more options. And I like to search it from here because it gives a better search. So now we're going to select the marketplace. We're going to select the one where we are based. I am based in the UAE, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it to us when it comes to finding a product the first thing we're going to do is select a category there are many gated categories so we need to make sure that it's a category that is not restricted or gated all right let's go through some of the categories uh, so usually these are the ones that are very easy to get in home and kitchen kitchen and dining patio lawn and garden uh, pet supplies sports and outdoors for this example, I think I'm going to go ahead with pet supplies. And then for the minimum price of the product, we're going to do 27 and for the maximum 125. And then for the review count, we don't want this to be too competitive. So we're going to do 330 review count. And then for the review rating, we're going to try to find a product which has lower than 4.4 stars. And then for the monthly revenue, we're going to do about 11,000 or 11,300 so that we are sure that people actually want this product. And then we're going to go ahead and hit search and helium 10 has now pulled out 200 potential products for you and all these 200 products fit the criteria with what you have searched so now we're going to go through all of these products and we'll see that if anything looks interesting or you know if you think that some product has any potential every time i'm doing a product research with helium 10 i come across so many interesting products generally i would not even know that these kind of products existed or I would not go and uh, look for these kind of products in the search engine. And here you can see more details like monthly revenue, reviews, and then the brand who is selling it or the seller who is selling it. You can also find out about the product, how large or small it is, if it's standard large size or bulky, and then the weight, the storage fees, anything and everything that you need, everything will be here. And then if you bring the cursor here, it'll pull up all the information here of the product. So this looks like a guinea pig cage or something. Okay, let's move on to the next one. These are some kind of grooming blades for the pet. So you want to make sure you go through all the products. Okay, this looks like an interesting product. I want to know what it is. It's a running water fountain for pets. Okay. I want to see what this is all right then next we have a puppy collar but this is with a tracker so it has some kind of tracking device inside of the collar which is great so you don't have to put like an air tag on your pet you can just use something like this so this is such a great product i haven't even looked at five products and i already found two very interesting potential products you want to make sure that you take your time and go through all the products i'm going to click here on open on amazon and this will open in amazon with helium 10's data i want to quickly have a look if this is a large bulky product or if it's okay no okay this is a standard size product this looks like a great product but if this is your first product then try to go for a very light product so this is a quiet running water fountain for pets dog 
dogs or cats and it is really small it can be even kept on top of your kitchen counter it has 169 reviews which is great because that means it doesn't have a lot of competition but we also have to make sure that other products which are similar to this also have similar number of reviews okay so it looks like it's easy to use easy to clean all right so let's go ahead and look for similar products we're gonna do in a new tab pet running water fountain and so a bunch of similar ones have showed up and some are a little different in design i think those are bigger but this is the one this one right here that we were looking at and there are a few similar ones looks like they're doing pretty well in the last 30 days they sold 209 units this is their last 30 days revenue and they're honestly crushing it there is another one but a little different it has 109 reviews this is something else actually and then another one has 58 i've taken a look at some more they don't look very competitive so we are going to pull down our extension and we are gonna click on x-ray and now the x-ray is pulling up all of the important data that we need so these are all the similar products of pet running water fountain that the x-ray has pulled up you can see here the total revenue the average revenue average price and then if you go in here you'll be able to find out more you can see the fees you can see ratings reviews so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and select some of the similar products of this pet or running water fountain okay, we're gonna select one last here and then we are gonna go and run surrey brew from here from here what it's doing is called a reverse asin lookup it's really hard to understand how this works what really it's doing is it's going and finding where these products are ranking in the first page of amazon and to find that we're gonna come here and in the position rank we're gonna put 1 to 25 we're not looking for position 50 or 60 because probably that'll be in page 3 or 4 so after we did apply filters 203 filtered keywords have come up and these three sellers that we looked up with are ranking for it which is pretty insane and these are the kind of keywords that we usually don't think when we're listing our product and let's go ahead and take a look at all of the search volume um so if you see okay so this one has been searched 103 times and then the second one 179 times then uh, this battery operated one 417 times and then this one right here 607 times and the one after that, 422 times. All right, then next, 48 times, 36 times, 252 times. So you can actually see how many times the customers have searched with these keywords. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here and click on export. And then we're going to go to Frankenstein. And so basically what happened is it got all the keywords over here. So you can grab all of these keywords and put them in your Excel sheet and save them in your computer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first 30 or 40 keywords and then I'm going to copy them. And then we're going to go back inside of tools. And then here we're going to go inside scribbles. And this is the listing optimizer. And I'm going to paste all of that here. And what it's going to do is create the perfect listing for us. I'm going to hit apply. And now it has given us a full breakdown of all the words and all the phrases that we need to use for our listing. Here we'll be able to track everything that we are putting in our bullet points and our listing. And we'll be able to track all the keywords that we need to put in our title and our bullet points so here you're going to want to create your title and your bullet points make sure to create your own a uh, good title and a uh, bullet points if you find it hard to come up with a good title then you can use some kind of ai tool for it but let's go ahead and see an example how to track these words inside of your title and your bullet points. So for example, we go back to the listing and we copy this title and paste it here. And as you can see, they have a few of the words, but they don't have a lot of the keywords. So they're missing out on a lot and we're going to check the bullet point also the same way so let's go ahead and copy the first point i'm going to go ahead and paste it here and now you can see that they really have nothing that matches from here now after running this i can see that their listing needs a lot more work and it is not at all well optimized so their listing is okay it has a video which is a good thing but it's not very well optimized like 
over here this is a very basic picture and they did not even use the picture of a real dog with the product they have just edited this dog with this image and then they did the same thing with the cat they can do a much better job with this and if this is the competition then the number of reviews are also not that great the only real pictures that they have used for the product are these but it should be a pet not a person so they can do a much better job with their listing optimization now we're going to talk a little bit about ppc that has to do with keywords so if we come back to our keyword list we're going to grab these keywords and we're going to put them in our ppc campaign so you're going to want to create a manual targeting keyword campaign with basically these keywords in there and so we're not going to go and put all of them we're going to take out the ones that doesn't make sense we're going to go through the list and basically kind of delete the ones that are kind of a brand or you know something else and whatever you'll be left with you're gonna wanna take those keywords and put them in your ppc campaign when you're gonna be launching your product we are almost towards the end of the video but i'm gonna show you guys one way to get reviews and that is by going on this follow-up section so basically it's an automation that you have to set up here basically every time you get an order it will go and request a review from your customers this is just one of the strategies of getting reviews once you set this up it's going to show you orders delivered ratings requested and ratings received now these were just a few tools and strategies when you explore helium 10 more you'll see that it has all the tools that you can possibly think of to scale your Amazon business. My discounted link for you to sign up with Helium 10 is in my description box below. You can use that if you need. If this video was helpful or added any value, please give us a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching.